everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my LB18 franchise. This is the New York Mets, this is episode 24. So if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist on my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell to get the latest updates whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like what you see by the end of this video, smash that thumbs up button. I'm trying to get at least two to four likes for this. And uh, leave any comments below. And here we are for this June 8th game against the Yankees in City Field. We got Sonny Gray who's 3-3 three three, uh, versus Jacob DeGrom who's 11-0 with a 2.4 ERA which is crazy to me because his ERA in real life is even better. I think it's crazy. Um, Yankees are 29-33. We are the NL East leading team at 42-19. And uh, let's take a look at the standings here. We are up eight and a half games over the Nationals. And I think we have the best record in the, um, in the NL. Uh, let's see. I actually think we have the best record in the majors. Okay. Um, so then for the injuries, we still have Matt Harvey. One day left in the DL with a broken hand. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him. I might trade him. Uh, Jose Reyes is still out for two months. And Pablo Villarreal is still out 30 days. Not really mad to me because he is a uh, prospect from uh, the minors. So let's get this game started. Let's take a look at the lineups here. And let's see. Seems like everybody's uh, pretty rested. So it's gonna be Rosario, Cabrera, Conforto, Cespedes, Jay Bruce, Todd Frazier, Brandon Nimmo, and Travis Darno. All right, here we are in City Field. As I said, Jacob DeGrom's on the mound. Go for his 12th win uh, for his 13th start. 2.4 ERA, uh, 82 strikeouts and 28 walks. Let's see if he could Fight off the rain here and take care of the Yankees. Full count to Gary Sanchez with a run out first. That got him frozen with a curveball. One and two to Stanton. Drives it deep. Center field. The early threat in the first inning is over. Stranding Gardner and Judge. One and two to Didi. Here in the second. Got him looking with a slider. That was filthy right on the outside corner. Ooh, out to second. Out at first. Getting out Gray at second. And then Gardner at first. Rosario was able to redeem himself because the previous play. He put Gray on with a throwing error. Good flip to the Todd Father. Then to first base. And that is a curveball down the middle. What were they looking at? The inning's over. Oof. I don't know. That's outside, man. That nipped the that nipped the outside. Three and two to Gary Sanchez, and he struck out again. This time with a two seam fastball. Three and one to Cespedes. This is gonna be a pitch to hit. Inferno on first with a walk. There you go. Finally, a base hit for the Mets. And finally get on with the base hit here in the fourth inning. It took a lot longer than I expected off Sonny Gray. You want to see if we get on with a single. And things are loaded up for the Mets. Guys a walk to Jay Bruce now. Alright, let's see if the Todd Father can deliver here. Full count, one out here in the fourth. Gonna drive them in. It's gonna drive them in. It's a grand slam. Todd Frazier with a grand slam is 19th of the year, going the opposite direction, going 405 feet. It is four nothing Mets here in the fourth. A lot of fours. Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier 
doing some business for the Mets, man. Good for you. As they reach everybody at home. Me, Nimmo. Who's up bat next? I actually thought that was just going to be a pop-up or just a regular base hit to right field, but that just carried into the bullpens for that grand slam. He's able to hit that. It was a little high, actually. Which actually surprised me that it carried all the way out there, going opposite field. Todd Frazier having himself a heck of a year. That is another strikeout for Jacob DeGrom getting with a slider. That is, I believe, his sixth strikeout already in the game. DeGrom deals one and two with Didi. And this ball comes back at him. And he is out at first. I hope DeGrom is okay. Taking that pitch right to him. Three and one count to Michael Conforto. Hoping to move up Cabrera, who's been walked on first. And that is launched into right field. And that's going to be a home run for Michael Conforto in the upper deck. That's the 18th of the year. The Mets are up 6-0 here in the 5th. Sonny Gray falling apart back-to-back -back innings. Michael Conforto just killing the ball. And that was a no-doubter as soon as it left off the bat. Meeting Cabrera and Cespedes at home who's up next. Right down the middle. No doubt about it. And what is going on here? Talk to Callaway. There might be a um, game. Might be uh Oh, there's a delay for at least 45 minutes. I want to keep the current picture. Two and two. To Stanton with two men on. This might be a double play ball. Might be a triple play! A triple! Oh, he didn't tag the man at third. I thought he did. I thought he did. I thought that was going to be a triple play. I swear he tagged him for the force. That's the, oh my goodness. I thought he got out of that with a triple play. Let's take a look at that. I swear he got him. I was about to freak out. Ooh, just narrowly missed it. He made it. I mean, that should have been a triple play. Damn it. So close. Full count. To Travis Shaw. Gonna fly out to Conforto to end the seventh inning. That's gonna be the Grom's last batter of the game. He's going to get a standing ovation from the Mets fans as either Lugo or Jocelyn's coming in to, to finish the game. 3-1, and one. Familia on, bases <laughs> loaded one out. This is not what I want to be, the situation I want to be in right now. That is a swing and a miss by Stanton. Full count now. And that's a swing and a miss. That's a big strikeout. By Familia, who's making things a bit interesting right now. That's going to be a grounder. This is going to be a shutout by the Mets. And they win 6 nothing against the struggling Yankees. And the Mets continue to win. That is Jacob DeGrom's 12th win of the year. Making him 12-0. and No runs given. Up. That's just a heck of a game by Jacob. Seven innings, two hits. Only two hits, six strikeouts, and two walks. Um, Sonny Gray getting his fourth loss of the year, giving up the grand slam and a two-run home run. And sorry, my printer is making some noise because it just updated. But uh, Todd Frazier again with that grand slam going two for three. And yeah, I can't be happy. I can't be any happier with the results I just got. What a game by the entire team. Okay, so we are back. We're just gonna sim the rest of this game, or the series rather, against the Yankees, and I'm probably no longer injured. Uh, play some bench for now. And let's see, let's see. Who can I? Ooh, shoot. Who can I move up and down the rotation? Uh, 
Um, I do in Zach Wheeler's been pitching pretty well. Um, for the Mets, I might send down somebody else. I'll take a look at the pitching here for the Mets. And let's see who's the worst ERA out of all of them over here. Um, out of all the two, I'll two. I might send down Seawald only because I can never get a good game with him. Um, so I will make Matt Harvey a a uh, pitcher from the bullpen to see how well he can uh, carry on through there. But let's take a look at the calendar. We're going to sim things here. And we went 6 3 um, behind Steven Matz. That's his fifth one of the year. And he has a 3.5 ERA now. Uh, let's take a look at the box score for the Mets. I'm the Yankees. And uh, Rosario with an RBI. Jay Bruce hitting a home run, driving in three, and the guards with two RBIs. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Bruce and Fajal with stolen base. That's weird. Uh, so let's take a look at the pitching here. Matt threw six innings, four hits, three runs, two, er two earned runs, with four strikeouts. And Familia came in for his 23rd save of the year. And the next game, we got, here we got CC Sabathia against Jake Arrieta. CC with a uh, five and six record with a 4.7 ERA. Jake Arrieta is five and two with a 2.9 ERA. Let's send this bad boy and let's see who's gonna win this. The Yankees win six to eight. Um, let's see, I'm trying to figure out what happened here. Three runs given in, in the fifth inning. Wow. So for the for the Yankees, Stanton hit two home runs. Okay. Uh, for the Mets, Conforto hit another home run. That was a three run, probably. And Frazier driving three. Uh, Arietta. And that was actually Lugo that gave up the loss. I think they probably tied it up. And the phone's dying. And he gets his first loss of the year. And yeah. Well, I mean, we can't, we couldn't sweep him there. But uh, we will have. I think who's next on the. Uh, my video schedule here. I think I'm gonna have Wheeler pitch. Uh, if not, might be Syndergaard, but I think I just had Syndergaard pitch recently. Let me double check. But uh, the Mets, the Mets are doing work right now. And, you know, unfortunately, this isn't where um, this isn't what's happening in real life, but what are you gonna do? I mean, it's. Unfortunate that it's uh, come to this, that, you know, Harvey has to be from the bullpen, but the starting pitchers are just doing work right now. Uh, let's see, let me just take a look at the, my past videos here and give me one second I'll let you guys know who it will be pitching next. Okay, after checking everything here, it will be, uh, we're going to have Zach Wheeler pitch the next episode. Um, against the Braves, who are 26 and 40. Um, I mean, it's gonna be nothing fancy to be honest, uh, because the Braves are, you know, they're losing. They're, I'm gonna be facing an 0 and 8 pitcher, Zach was 3 and 0 coming from uh, injury in the minors. So we'll see what we can do with that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, click that like button. Leave any comments below. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.